How's it going everyone? This is DJ. In today's video, I will show you how to install on your Fire Stick, Fire TV Cube or Fire Edition TV the latest stable version of Kodi, which at the time of this recording is 21.1. Now, if you're watching this video three months, six months or a year later, this video will still work because these few simple steps that I will show you today will always point you to the latest stable release. So without any further ado, grab your remote and let's get right to it. Now for this tutorial, I will be using a Fire TV Cube, but if you're using a different Fire Stick, no need to worry. The steps are going to be pretty much the same for any Fire TV device. All right, now the first thing we need to do here is go to the magnifying glass. We're going to look for an app. You're going to click down where it says search, click in there. And in here, we're going to search for the downloader app. If you already have the downloader app, you can skip to this part of the video. All you got to do is type in a couple of letters. As you can see, even the first one, it's already there. All you got to do is click on it and it will be the first one. So we're going to click and install it. Now where it says download it, you own it for me, it may say get it for you. It's a free app, so all you got to do is just click on it, give it a second, it's going to download, and then it's going to install it. Now once it's done installing, we're not going to open it. We're going to press the home button on your remote. And in here, we need to go to our settings. So you're going to go down there, scroll down, go to My Fire TV. And in here, we're going to look for developer options. Now, if you don't see developer options on your device, it's OK. All we got to do is go where it says About, click on it. And where it says Fire TV Cube for me, for you, it may say Fire TV Max or whatever your Fire TV device is. You're going to click on it seven times. You're going to start getting a countdown. And then you will see, we'll say, no need, you're already a developer. All right, so we're going to press back here. And now you should see developer options in here. You're going to click on it. You're going to go down where it says install unknown apps. Click on there. And you're going to look for a downloader. You're going to click on it so it turns it on. All right, so press back again. So now we can go to the home screen. Now, we're going to have to go back to all apps. It's the three boxes and the plus sign. You're going to click on it and downloader will be the last one in the list here. Any app that you install will always be at the end of this list. So all you got to do is click on it. Here you're going to make sure you click on allow. If you click on deny, downloader will not work. Press that and click OK. Here we're going to go up. You're going to click in that box and we're going to enter this following number. It will be 446-509. And once you're done, you can pause the video if you need to. You're going to click on go. And in five seconds, it's going to redirect you to my website. Now, if you press the three line button on your remote, it will bring up this menu. You can add this page to your favorites. That way, you don't have to remember this code that I provided you. You can just add it to the favorites, click on save. And then next time when you launch downloader, you can just go down here to your favorites. It will be right in here. You click on it and it brings you right over to my website again. Then if we press the three line button again, if you press it twice, it will bring you to full screen. Now we're going to scroll down in here. As you can see here, this is Cody. The first one that you always see on this list, it will be the latest stable version. So if you watch this video a year or two down the road, you always will find the, the latest version right here. All you can do is go where it says download, click on it, and it will download the file. Or if you want, you can just click on the icon over here. They both work the same way. And we're just going to download the file now. All right, here we're going to go down where it says install, click on that. And then once it's done installing, we're not going to open Kodi right away. We're going to click on done first. All right, click on done. And now we want to delete this file. We don't want to keep it. It takes up space. And as we know, the Fire Sticks don't have an all of space. You should do that with any installation file that you download. And then you can just press the home button on your remote. And it brings you back here. But if you press and hold on the home button on your remote, it brings it to this menu, click on apps. And we go to the bottom and there's Cody. We're going to launch it. 
press continue and here you got to make sure you click on allow you don't want to click on deny even if you do click on deny you're going to have to go as you can see on the bottom you're going to go into manage install applications find Cody and then change the permissions again so just click on allow here and it's going to load up and that's pretty much it code is now going to be installed or updated if you obtain from a previous version now keep in mind that code is only a media player you're not going to find any add-ons pre-installed in here or offer any content if you're looking to learn how to install add-ons or change the look of Cody like change the skins, how to install a build, you can visit my website for more information. I will leave a link in the description below. Well, that should do it for today. If you guys have any questions, please leave it in the comment section below, and I will answer everybody's question as soon as possible. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. It does let you two know you like what I do here, and it does help my channel grow. Thank you for watching. This is DJ. Till next time.